Dr. Stein, every dentist, um, when they talk about gum disease, you know, starting with little bleeding, I think you guys call that gingivitis, you know, going to advanced periodontal disease, and uh, really kind of, you know, heavy bleeding and uh, gum loss and bone loss, and of course tooth loss. So most dentists, uh, uh, you know, kind of like say you've got to, Get your gum disease under control. You gotta floss. You gotta do the things, and you gotta go and and do um, sometimes more than just a cleaning, and you know a little gum surgery or a little deep scale cleaning, which is not quite as extensive as a gum surgery, um, because you're losing your teeth. Now, I'm sitting here and I go, okay, losing your teeth is a bad thing, but we talked quite a bit that there is implants, there is all kinds of ways to actually put the teeth back. Sure, you have to spend money and that's not a good thing, but you can put them back. Um, and uh, yeah, while, while, you know, while this is going on, your prob mouth probably doesn't look so good, but wouldn't the infection which is in, in the mouth, the gum infection, that yellow, reddish, ugly bus, which is right there in your teeth, and which is at the gateway of your blood vessels, and which goes into your blood faster than anywhere else in the body, wouldn't that poison the body on a minute-by-minute minute basis? And wouldn't that be more devastating to liver, kidney, heart, uh, brain, uh, the blood circulation, just about anything? Uh, yes, it is. It, there is a definite link between uh, gum disease and, and irritic, to have a constant irritation of the gums to heart disease and to, 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 to different diseases. Uh, the, the teeth are not um, separate from the body, so there is, uh, um, it, it's, it's important to, we, we, we can't look at a person's teeth as being not part of the body. Um, so neglecting your mouth is, is also neglecting your health. Um, and, and it's so important um, because the mouth is an area where with, with uh, different types of bacteria that, that, that live there that, that cause a, a lot of inflammation, um, that, that we keep that part of the body very healthy. Um, so keeping, uh, that's, and that's why gingivitis um, and, and inflammation, okay, uh, uh, that it's important that we that we take care of the mouth and that we we do this we start off with the six month cleanings and then the uh, just to preserve the, the health of the gums so that there it doesn't uh, progress to, to other organ systems. Right, because you know I, I mean is this is the I mean would you agree a little bit or lots with me that you know losing your teeth is of course a bad situation and we ex you explained well that you know you get your gut, your bone shrinking you start looking old you always really need to spend a truckload of money to fix it and all that type of stuff but I mean how can you put a, a price on, on 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 ruining and poisoning your liver and stuff and you know getting you know that must be bringing your immune system down um, if all your internal health soldiers, if we want to call them that, they have to try to f make sure that they fight this infection in the mouth. Some people, some dentists have told me that the infection in the mouth is as big as your hand. Who would run around with, a, with an infection on your stomach, on your chest, on your arm, in your face, as big as your hand, and not go right. to a doctor? Who would do that? Right. Yes, I, I, I don't know. But unfortunately, people have such a fear of dentists sometimes that they they think in many cases the there can be it's it can be not painful until it reaches a point um, that people wait too long and then you start losing teeth but it, but you're right it, to walk around with with constant uh, infection is just a terrible thing and then it just leads to other other organ failures down the line um, so it's so important that that people do come and 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 t treat everything early rather than waiting until it reaches a point where right. it's it's right. Like they have they have information out there that um, that uh, a pregnant woman get uh, premature babies uh, underweight if they have gum disease. Yes. I mean, yes, that's, that's cool. pretty, so if that can happen, which is a pretty drastic thing. What about the everyday flu, which comes once or twice a year to people if their immune system is not good? 
Um, yes, it can, I mean, it can affect um, anything that, yeah, it can, it can lower the, the body's immune immunity to, to have a constant uh, irritation, uh, whether it's in the mouth or, or, or somewhere else, but it, it, it definitely does lower the, the immune system. An infection is an infection is an infection. It doesn't matter where you have it. Right. Right. Well, um, maybe I should end up this visit and uh, this uh, this video and go to my dentist and uh, check whether I have an infection. Uh, yes. Because uh, <laughs> definitely looks that wouldn't be a good thing. Dr. Stein, yeah. thanks a lot for the information. Oh, okay. And let's, and let's hope that the uh, video you. encourages some people to um, to take care of their infection and uh, you know no. maybe they get rid of a chronic fatigue. They don't know where the heck it comes from. It's because they have infections in their mouth. It wears them out, and they don't even know it. Yes, right. That's yes. Thanks a lot, Doctor Stein. Bye bye. Okay, thank you. Bye now.